May 28th, 2011. A uh, lot to talk about uh, this week coming up. Going to be pretty exciting. Actually, some special events coming up uh, that I want to talk about. <clears throat> I apologize because, uh, as I talked about in my Smart Guys uh, episode this past weekend, uh, when these seasons change, it always kind of hits me and I get congested. So, for the past couple of days, I've been like teetering on the brink of maybe kind of being sick, but it's not really sickness. It's more like an allergy kind of a deal that happens whenever it goes from cold to warm. And uh, so, <clears throat> if I clear my throat or I'm choking or whatever during this video, please forgive me. Um, <clears throat> so, first, let's talk a little bit about this past week and what you missed if you haven't been checking out my channels. Then we'll talk about what's going on right now, and then we'll talk about what's coming up later this week. So, first of all, last week, pretty busy week, um, <clears throat> a lot going on. Uh, a lot of couple, or a couple of releases. First of all, Crisis 2 came out, and I played through the entire uh, single-player campaign of that game. Also, yesterday, for the first time, I was able to sit down with the multiplayer of that game, so both of those playlists are up on DSP Gaming right now. Um, also, some other stuff happened. Um, <coughs> excuse me. PS Move Heroes, which was one of the PS Move exclusive games that had been, you know, promoted by Sony for months and months on end. Combination of Ratchet and Clank crossing over with Jack and Daxter crossing over with the Sly Cooper universes. That came out last week as well, and it actually wasn't what a lot of people had expected it to be. Uh, yes, it did have a story in the campaign, but it was short and <clears throat> actually wasn't reminiscent of any of the gameplay of any of those series. Instead, it was just a series of mini games, if you can believe it. Uh, so if you want to check that out, go check that out over on DSP Gaming. I did beat the whole game. Um, in addition to that, the SOCOM 4 beta uh, came out last week exclusively for PlayStation Plus members, of which I am one of, thanks to a fan donation earlier this year. Thank you very much for that. Uh, and so I was able to get into the beta. I played six matches, and then the beta refused to work. I couldn't even connect to the servers again. <coughs> so for the six matches that I did get in, I sucked ass, but at least you get an idea of what the gameplay is like, the graphics. I really was impressed with the graphics, and I think the gameplay has a lot of potential. I just think I sucked at it, and that's why it wasn't all it could have been. But I think the game is going to be really good, so you can go check that out on DSP Gaming. Um, <coughs> In addition to that, I actually did have a chance to finally, for the first time in a month, sit down and play Marvel vs. Capcom 3 with a couple of my friends uh, locally here who have been playing it on and off like me. Uh, and we had a, a pretty good set of matches. That's up on DSP Street Fighter right now, and they were offline casuals. So you'll actually see, wow, they're pulling off combos, they're doing things. And of course, we're not great. I mean, we're dropping stuff as well because we haven't been playing the game uh, constantly like a lot of other people. But uh, we had fun with it, and I think you can learn a lot from the videos, and they're funny too because we do commentary and stuff through it through the entire time, joking with each other or whatever. So check that out over on DSP Street Fighter. Um, <clears throat> on Saturday, John Rambo was able to make it, so we had our newest edition of Smart Guys. That's up on John Rambo Presents right now. And also we played through a four-player co-op of the game Ghostbusters Sanctum of Slime. This game is totally different from the last Ghostbusters game. It's very reminiscent of... Smash TV or Ikaruga, uh, that style of shooter game. And um, we played through it four player. It was myself, John Rambo, our friend Joe, uh, and also Chris, who is the co founder and administrator of the website thekingofhate.com. Uh, all of us played together. John was here, and then the other two joined uh, via internet. <clears throat> and it was pretty funny, <clears throat> mostly because of our commentary, I think. And some of the crazy shit that happened, like we kept desyncing and people would be like invincible for a period of time. You try to revive, oh, I can't revive him, oh my god, and then we die instantly. It was pretty funny. So check that out over on DSP uh, Gaming if you haven't already. <clears throat> and that was pretty much covering what happened this past week, okay? So what's coming up this week? First of all, I want to let everyone know this sucks, but. Since Friday, I've been having problems uploading to YouTube, and at first, <clears throat> I thought it was my, my desktop PC. I thought, man, okay, it's run its course, it's like five years old, it's finally crap in the bed, that's the problem. And uh, I was literally, after, after upgrading my desktop to PC from Vista to X, or, I'm sorry, not XP, to uh, Windows 7, and uh, totally starting fresh, I thought that would fix the problem. Unfortunately, it did not. As I was uploading yesterday, the same problems are happening. So let me explain the problem, and then let me explain what I did to try to figure it out. 
The way that YouTube works is you upload your videos through YouTube's uploader, which is through a web browser. And the way it works is you upload your video. Once the video is completely uploaded, it begins to do what's called processing, which means, okay, YouTube has your raw file. Now it's going to do some changes to that file so that it's streamlined for use to watch on the Internet. And that could take just as long as it took for you to upload the file itself. Sometimes it's faster. It all depends on what format your files are. And what happens is in their uploader, first you have a status bar of just the raw file uploading, and then it actually is a video preview frame by frame of the video as it processes and gets ready for uh, streaming on YouTube. <clears throat> Day one since they started using this new uploader, there have been problems. Uh, but I'd say for the past six to eight months, even though there have been problems, for the most part, the uploader works, okay? The uploader does still work now, okay? And that's why over this past weekend, even though I've been having major problems uploading, you've still seen all the new footage that you did because my internet is now fast enough that when it does work, it just pumps out the videos and then it conks out and then I have to start over again. So let me explain what's happening. I'm uploading a video and the first one uploads completely fine, no problems. The second one will start uploading, okay? And as that one's starting to upload, the first one starts to process, so you start seeing the video previews. Well, <clears throat> what's happening is Whatever YouTube did to change their uploader, which they do frequently, they always tweak code to try to make it better, frequently it fucks it up and makes it worse. Well, the uploader is now, the video previews are locking up. So you'll get a couple frames and then it just, it stops. The problem is the browser doesn't know how to handle this and it creates a memory leak in the browser. So if you go into your task manager, you see, wow, my browser was, at first it was using 90K of my RAM, now it's up to 300K, oh shit, now it's up to a gig, like it's crazy, what is going on with my RAM? It basically is creating memory holes in the browser that are making your computer use massive amounts of memory to keep that browser open. So for me to upload two to three videos, it's not a big deal, but once I start hitting four, five, six videos in a row, Basically, the browser crashes, and then I have to start completely over, which is frustrating because now I have to re-enter all the information for the videos. I have to maybe, you know, <clears throat> how many got through? Four got through? Okay, so I had ten videos. Subtract the first four. Now let me re-upload the, or try to re-queue up the next six. Ideally, the way the browser works is you're just supposed to say, I want to upload 12 videos. You put all the information in, you walk away, and you come back four hours later, and it's done. That's the, the, the way the queue is supposed to work. And traditionally, that's how I've done it, but now I'm not able to do that. I'm only able to get maybe two, three, four videos up at a time. Then I have to be at the computer to close the browser, open the browser again, and start the uploads again, which is really frustrating, uh, especially if I want to upload overnight, which is what I wanted to do for the past two days, and I wasn't able to, so I ended up staying up super late getting the videos up. Um, <clears throat> or if I'm playing a game, like let's say I was playing Dragon Age right now, I'd be fucked because I, every time I stop the video, I have to go over here and check, oh, how are my uploads doing? Oh, did they conk out yet? No? All right, let me go play again. I wouldn't just be able to sit here and play for a solid amount of time. So I thought it was my desktop computer. I did. And after going to Windows 7, it started to work a little bit better, and then the same problem started happening again. I said, this is ridiculous bullshit. So I was furious. I was ready to storm into the store today and buy a new desktop PC and say, fuck this. And uh, so I said, you know what? Hold on a second. Let me try to upload on my laptop instead of my desktop and see what happens. So I directly connected my laptop to my internet. I loaded six movies onto the laptop, started uploading, okay? The laptop got further than the desktop, which I was surprised, so I don't know what the difference is there. It got to maybe, well actually I do know what the difference is. My laptop is much newer than my desktop. My laptop has more memory in it, so obviously it makes more sense. If it has more memory, it can handle more memory leaks, right? So it uploaded to five videos. It got five videos on the internet, and then on number six, it conked out. And I said, well, at least now I know it's not my desktop, it's the fucking YouTube. They fucked something up yet again, and it's just not working. Now, keep in mind there were some workarounds that I tried. There are other uploaders that YouTube has. They have what's called a basic uploader, which is supposed to disable all that crap. And then it also has an advanced uploader, which if a movie uh, uh, sticks or locks up, it's supposed to resume the upload. Neither of those fix the problem. Every uploading method to YouTube right now is experiencing this problem. There's threads about it on the forums. I've checked the help forums all over. There's like three or four threads about it. Of course, as usual, YouTube is not addressing the problem. They sit on their fucking hands with their thumbs up their asses because there's no fucking customer support on YouTube. So unfortunately, I apologize. 
because there may be some delay in my uploads. Fingers crossed that it gets fixed or that at least it doesn't get worse. Like right now, I can handle it. I can handle the fact that it's going to take a while to upload stuff or that I have to constantly check, all right? Because right now, let's say, for example, today, what am I going to do today? I'm probably going to play some more Crisis 2 multiplayer because I really like it. So I'll play for three hours or so. I'll load onto the computer and I'll start uploading, but I'll stick around. I won't, be, I won't leave the computer and then come back five hours later and say, oh, I just wasted four hours because it locked up after the third video. So... For now, it's okay, but I don't know. There's a lot of games coming out this week. I'm not sure how much footage I'm going to be uploading, and it may be frustrating, so we'll see. But anyway, so what's coming up this week? Like I said, later today, more Crisis 2. I think I really, I'm getting to the point now where I'm going to hit a level where I'm going to unlock better guns, better abilities, and I'm going to be able to compete with some of the people that have been playing all week who have fucking rocket launchers and shit. So um, <clears throat> that'll be coming today, tomorrow. Lots of stuff comes out tomorrow, all right? And I'm pretty excited about this week because of all the new stuff that's coming out. Up first is the final DLC for Mass Effect 2. Yes, the game's been out for over a year, and there's still another DLC for it. This one's called The Arrival. And um, it's very ambiguous. People aren't sure what it's going to be about. Obviously, it sounds like this is going to be the arrival of the Reapers from the first two games and that they're going to arrive on Earth. And from seeing the preview of Mass Effect 3 where the Reapers have already arrived on Earth, that would make a lot of sense. And some people are like, we're really positive because the last DLC, Lair of the Shadow Broker, was long, it was interesting, it was excellent, it was well done. Some other people are like, eh, well after seeing the end of Dragon Age 2, we're not too thrilled, we're wondering what's going to happen or if it's going to let us down, or will it be a good bridge from Mass Effect 2 to Mass Effect 3? As you know, if you watched my Mass Effect 2 playthrough, I was pretty disappointed with the main plot line of the game. I really felt that not a lot happened uh, to advance the story. It was more like a filler episode than anything else. So maybe this will be the bridge to explain what's going on in Mass Effect 3. I don't know, but that's coming up first on DSP Gaming. Then... I'm going to try out the new wrestling game, WWE All-Stars, and this should be good because I've not played a wrestling game in over two years, uh, and I'm interested to see what they do with this game. It is a lot more cartoony than previous games. I think it's going to be a lot more arcade style and not as serious. It's not going to be a wrestling sim, for example. It's going to be more of like mash out stuff and trying to get stuff to, to happen, so that could be cool. It's an extremely uh, pertinent week for that game to come out because this is actually the week leading into WrestleMania coming up on Sunday. So, pretty cool that I'm able to play a wrestling game the week of WrestleMania. Um, also, the newest installment of Back to the Future uh, is coming out on the PlayStation Network, so I'll be playing that whenever it comes out. Now, they, they, remember, they update PlayStation Network late on Tuesday, so more than likely it's going to be on Wednesday or Thursday I'll be playing Back to the Future. Um, also, remember, on Thursday this week is the next episode of Ask the King, where you have the chance to ask me questions and I will uh, answer them. Now, a couple cool things have happened since the last time we did an Ask the King. If you go to thekingofhate.com, as always, there's going to be a forum thread that says Ask the King for March 31st, which is the latest episode. And what you do is you go there and you post up your questions for me and I review them and I pick the best ones and I answer them in this, uh, <clears throat> this show. Well, uh, there's a new feature on the website where you're able to vote on the questions that have been posted. So if you see a question, if you're looking through it, say, oh, wow, I like that question a lot. Rather than you reposting the question, which can be pretty annoying, you know, having the same question up there ten times, you can actually vote on the question. And so now when I'm reviewing the questions, I get to see which ones people really liked and which ones people maybe aren't as interested in. And I'll probably end up picking some of the ones that people like a lot. Unless I just don't think it's a valid question or it's something that I don't want to talk about, then I'm not going to answer it anyway. It's still under my total control, but at least this is, gives you an opportunity to interact a little bit better. Uh, and also, it will hopefully reduce the amount of repeat questions uh, that I get. So, head over to thekingofhate.com to ask the king thread. Post up your questions. Uh, that'll be on Thursday when I put up the latest episode, and that'll be over on my channel, The King of Hate HD, on YouTube. Also remember, I do last-minute Twitter questions, so while I'm reviewing the questions from the forums, I'll post up on my Twitter account, which is they call me DSP. and uh, anyone who posts up questions there, I pick a couple out of those, and I also answer those in the episode. So check that out on Thursday. Uh, <clears throat> on Friday, I've got something special for everyone. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the pretty much what I would consider the best of the best of survival horror games. It is a classic uh, from the 90s, and uh, I think everyone's going to really enjoy it. This little 
mix-up of a playthrough that I'm going to do here and do like a kind of slash playthrough slash review. I'm not going to have time to beat the whole game, but I want to show you some footage of it and talk a little bit about the game. So that's coming up on Friday on DSP Gaming. Saturday is going to be something special if it happens. Um, basically, I was told this week that uh, a lot of the best Super Turbo players in the Northeast want to get together on Saturday in Philly. Um, and not only the ones from Don'tBlowThis.com and the Revo streams that we've done, but also David Spence and a couple other people want to get together. So, uh, what we're looking to do is Rambo and I are going to probably meet up with a bunch of players in New York. We're going to jump in a van. We're going to drive to Philly together. And for the day, we're going to be playing. We're going to be recording. It won't be streamed, but there's going to be two or three setups on Super Guns where we all play Super Turbo all day. There might be a mini tournament. And so the best stuff I'll be recording and putting up on DSP Street Fighter um, when I get back. Uh, so that'll be pretty cool. And that's an uh, exclusively Super Turbo event. I'm pretty sure all people are going to want to do is play Super Turbo because we're basically the, the dedicated Super Turbo players are getting together because we want to play Arcade Super Turbo, not shitty HD Remix, and this will be a good opportunity to do it. So that could be coming up on Saturday. It depends on when I get home. Uh, if not, that'll definitely be going up on Sunday, that footage. And uh, the one downside to that is we don't know when we're going to film this week's episode of Smart Guys, because usually we do it on Saturday, and obviously if we're driving to Philly to play Super Turbo, we can't film Smart Guys. Uh, possibly Sunday, but I don't know what's going to happen with that, because Sunday is WrestleMania. So... More as it develops, I do have to talk to John more this week and see what the heck we're going to do for this stuff. Uh, and once we get it hashed out, I'll definitely let everyone know. So Smart Guys is kind of up in the air for this weekend. We want to do a special WrestleMania episode anyway. So maybe what we'll do is wait till like Monday and then do a Monday special Monday episode where we talk about the stuff that happened this week plus WrestleMania. I'm not sure. But anyway, regardless of all that, there's a lot of stuff coming up this week, which is great. I'm happy that here we are, you know, in March, April... And usually, you know, in traditional times, this was a slow time of the year, and now we're jam-packed with content. I love it. I'm absolutely loving it. So, fingers crossed, everyone, that YouTube resolves whatever the fucking problems are with uploading. I'm really tired of it, but there's nothing I can do. I have to put up with it. It's not my PC. It's not anything that I can fix. I just have to put up with it until they fix their shit. Um, <clears throat> I will do my best to get footage up in a timely manner this week. If it's delayed a little bit, please bear with me. I'm trying my best. Uh, to get these issues resolved, and we'll go from there. So, I'm DSP. This has been the Weekend Preview. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later today.